All right, this is problem 59, chapter 3. We have the problem statement here. You can read it. Uh, it's also in your book. Essentially what it's saying is that you have a rigid closed box here with refrigerant 134A inside of it. This box has a volume of 20 cubic feet. It's listed right here on the box. And it has heat energy shining from the sun coming from above. This box is also completely sealed. At 9 a.m., I'm listing it right over here, 9 a.m., the pressure inside is at 100 pounds per square inch, 100 PSI, and this thing is heated throughout the day. At 3 p.m., the uh, specific volume has reached the saturation of uh, vapor volume, and we know that the pressure at state two is greater than the initial pressure that we started with. That's all that we're given. It is asking us to find the initial temperature in Fahrenheit, the final pressure in PSI, and also the heat during this process from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. here. All right. So let's start with finding the specific volume here. So this is for part A. All right. So we have, we need the specific volume. Here is going to be the initial volume that we have over the mass. Oh, I forgot to mention that we have 75 pounds of uh, this refrigerant inside this closed box. All right, so we have our volume here. We're assuming we're filling the entire thing. This is 25, uh, 20 cubic feet, and we have 25. Uh, I'm sorry, 75 uh, pounds of this refrigerant. All right, this is going to give us a specific volume of 0 0.267 uh, cubic feet per pound mass initially. All right, we can go over to table 11, uh, A11E, and we can look up for 100 PSI, and at this specific volume, or at 100 PSI to find out that we have a saturation of liquid volume of 0 0.01332 cubic feet per pound and a saturation gas specific volume of 0 0.4747 cubic feet per pound. So. This already tells us that we are starting off inside our vapor dome. I'm going to draw that up here. All right, so this is our vapor dome. We are starting off, I'm going to say somewhere in here. All right, this is our temperature and specific volume. As it heats up throughout the day, we cannot increase the volume because this box is sealed. We are not changing the mass. Nothing gets in, nothing gets out. So our specific volume is not going to change. So this thing is just going to increase here. And it says that we end up at state two at our specific, our saturation of gas. And we're gonna start here somewhere in the middle, right? And we've just looked up at 100 PSI, this saturation gas here, and saturation of liquid specific volume there. All right, and that's what these two things are here. And so we're in between those at the moment. Okay, since we know that we are in between here, we can look up this saturation temperature for these two and find that we are at 79.17 degrees Fahrenheit at the initial state, all right? So it will be same as the saturation temperature for this initial state here, which is 79.17 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? So that's part A. <clears throat> part B, we need to find the uh, pressure here, right? 
So let's look at part B. So for part B, let's start off, we're going to say specific volume is going to be the same at both states. And we know, we're told that it's the saturation of gas at state 2. All right, so we're right on the edge of this vapor dome. All right. We know that we're at some greater pressure than P1. All right. We can look up on our, our, uh, our table and get values at 160 PSI. We would be at uh, 0.2916 cubic feet per pound at 180 PSI. We would be at 0.2569 cubic feet per pound, all right? We know that we're at this state, so we're going to have to linearly interpolate between these two to find some pressure that we are at between these two on our table, all right? So we can set up our triangle if you need to, if this helps, all right? Say that this point, so this is pressure, specific volume, 180, 160. At 160, we're at 0 0.2916. At 180, we're at 0 0.2569. Somewhere in here, we're at 0.267 and we want to find this value here. All right. So linearly interpolate 160 minus 180 over 0 0.2916 minus 0 0.2569 equals 160 minus P2 over 0.2916 minus 0.267, whoops, 7, rearrange, solve for P2. P2 is going to be 174.2 PSI. All right. Does this make sense? Does it fall between here and here? Yes. The sanity check, we're good so far. All right. So this is P2 in PSI. So far, so good. All right. Next, we'll want to find the internal energy at state 2. All right at pressure 2. Again, we can look up uh, from the tables at 160 PSI. We can find we're at 107.28 BTU per pound at 180 PSI. We would be at 108 Point one eight BTU per pound. Set up a very similar linear interpolation. This time we know we want to end up at 174.2 PSI between these two. Find the specific energy that you want to end up in. All right. So you do that, specific energy would be 107.9 BTU per pound. All right, 107.9 BTU for specific energy at state two. All right, last part. Let's get a good color for this one. Finish this off. 
That's the same color. All right. Part C, we want to find the heat transfer from state one to state two. Start with that energy balance, All right? So change in energy equals Q minus W. Well, in this case, there's no change in volume because we're in this closed sealed box. So that's out. All right, this is going to be equal to mass times specific energy at state two minus specific energy at state one. We just found this. We don't know this yet. We know that the mass is 75 pounds. It's over here. All right. So we need to find this. In order to do that, we're going to need the quality at one. All right. We can look up these values from the table and get How close am I going to get to the edge? 0 0.01332 over 0.4747 minus 0 0.01332. Quality of state one is 0.549. All right. So we have the quality. We now can say that the energy at state one, this is the saturation of fluid at state one, saturation energy of fluid, plus the quality times the difference in the saturation energy from gas minus the fluid saturation energy. Again, you can get those off the table. Saturation, uh, the quality we just found, all right? This value is 36.75 BTU per pound plus 0.549 times. Specific energy of gas is 103.68 minus 36.75. Specific energy at state one is 73.49 BTU per pound. All right. We now have this. We have state two specific energy. We have the mass. We could plug these in. This will give us the heat from process one to process two. All right, I'm going to plug the, I'm assume that you can plug these in. That would give us 2,583 BTU for a Q one to two. All right, and that wraps up Problem 59, All right? Remember, you got this box that starts in the sunshine. It's closed, sealed, rigid. We heat it up. Specific volume doesn't change. We find the initial temperature. We go through, we find the final pressure. We then find the final specific energy. We use that along with the initial specific energy to find the overall heat transfer into the box from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m.